Prophecy Production. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Share and subscribe. Oh. Subscribe. Hit that likes button now. Here we go. The Delaware County District Attorney accusing a school crossing guard of giving middle school students drugs. Good evening. Morona Prophecy 597. Good morning, good afternoon, uh, Sheba and uh, Don. But this is a stupid crime. A dumb crime. Dumb criminal here. I'm Sheba Russell. And I'm Dawn Timoney. It is a shock to so many parents in the community who obviously expect these crossing guards to protect their children. Mm -hmm. Let's send it right out to Joanne Pileggi, who has the latest details and reaction. Joanne. Y'all, shout out to Pennsylvania. I guess they kind of crazy from here to there, you know, from time to time. Or they have, you know, the same corruption every other state, city has. But um, I did a, a story a while ago about um, the fake monkeypox way back. I think this was probably two or three years ago. Okay, Pennsylvania, shout out to you. Here we go. Good evening, everyone. Tough reality here and virtually anywhere. Preteens and teenagers can usually find a convenience store to buy THC, synthetic THC products and vapes. But police here in Darby say kids, middle school kids, had another source to buy drugs and vape devices. The stores do it, so I guess she felt like she could do it. It's already hard enough, like I was saying. I literally don't know what I would do, folks, if a uh, school figure or a school authority uh, gave my children some type of drug. And then synthetic drugs could have bust your heart, could have killed you, could have turned you crazy. Because sometimes um, kids that are underdeveloped, their mind can't take it, so they lose their mind. So, and then you open it up, gates of hell. Um, on top of that, um, because it's a gateway drug, okay, marijuana's, you know, any anything, you know, okay, that's a gateway uh, drug. And for as a parent, just keeping them away from the influences that we already are fighting, so to hear that an actual employee of the borough would, would even sell the kids, it's insane. Police say that Darby Borough employee is 26-year-old Kiara Lee who worked as a crossing guard near Penwood Middle School. We walk past and go to Fred's every day, so a lot of students see her like passing it around and stuff, and they would say, oh, let me hit the vape, let me hit the vape. And it's a shame that you have these people who are on these corners to do the job to protect these children. And Luckily, her butt got caught now because she has no moral compass. I mean, girl, I mean, who are you working for? The demonic side? Because you know these are children. You know they can't defend themselves. They innocent, and you introducing them into dope, into drugs. I mean, come on, what mind uh, can you possibly have? So, yeah, she didn't have it all upstairs. And, yeah, this, this, I feel like this behavior is demonic because um, God says protect the little ones. And, and you are really subjecting them to a life of addiction and whatever else that comes along with that. And there you're telling me they're receiving drugs and stuff from them is utterly disgusting and it's ridiculous. Lee is charged with distributing vapes containing THC as well as marijuana edibles to middle school students. Cops say she also got high with at least one student and texted about it. Delaware County DA Jack Stolsteimer announced the arrest and said, quote, school crossing guards epitomize the role of public servant. For an individual to abuse that trust is deeply dis... And I believe she is just way off, like she's not all there upstairs uh, for this type of grind. Because also, she, she wasn't selling it or nothing. She is giving these things out. She's passing this stuff out to the kids. She passing it as they walking to and fro school, okay? And smoking it with them, one attempted, okay? And um, texting about the situation, oh, okay. Is she a, a predator? I think so disturbing and corrosive to the well-being of the entire community. But I got grandkids coming up. 
They don't need to be getting nothing from a crossing guard. A burrow? Yeah, this ain't nothing but the enemy. Um, using this this lady um, to lure in these little kids, these little innocent kids. And um, she's going to have to have a, a hefty price to pay, you know, by the law here. And then also dealing with God because y you're messing with the little ones. And um, this is what I'm talking about when I, I tell you that we need to be vigilant um, amongst our youth and this Gen Z and, and these kids because... the. Um, the enemy is sending out his agents to to use all type of deception and and tactics and and um fiery darts to um you know get to the children the children is who he wants to get to all right because they're the future police officer today stationed at the spot where lee once worked off camera many students say they knew or heard about lee so what is this teaching us parents to talk to your kids more often to and from all of their places no matter if they don't want to talk or not sit them down and talk to them ask, ask them how have they been in a non-threatening way just casual conversation and you'll be surprised at how much information your kid tells you about their day and the majority of this time when you do this it it, it will be good like you will get good results they'll be open to when things happen or when they see things happen amongst their friend um they'll know how to vent and express themselves back to you and then you can also instill in them more preventative measures you know because we have to be vigilant this is what the enemy is doing that's all i wanted all right marona prophecy make sure you like share subscribe she seemed like an ordinary person like regular uh maybe just got to the wrong stuff um at the wrong time selling the kids i don't know what the borough does or what their policies are on their end for employees but i just it's unfortunate no comment from the borough who hired lee she apparently worked for the borough for the last couple of years police tonight confirming that she also worked for the borough's recreation department with kids police also saying tonight that they have shut down a local vape shop in connection with this investigation lee is being held on twenty thousand dollars bond at the county jail tonight we're live in darby i'm joanne Pelleggi, fox 29 news some troubling details joanne thank you